Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to episode 6 of the Dead Man Season 3. So, in last episode, we managed to get ourselves piety and we are working on Nightfall Magic. I just finished a trip off the Iron and Steel Dragons. We managed to get ourselves 86 magic. I didn't manage to alk a lot. If I managed to alk, I'd probably get like 87 mage, but I was editing the video you're watching yesterday because it's nice and AFK. But yeah, this was the loot we managed to pull off. I probably got about 80k a profit in alks. The rest of it is obviously just out to the rune javelins. I got loads of runeite limbs. I managed to keep one at the end because I reckon I could probably sell it a little bit more than alk value. But yeah, not too bad. We got some of the money back in drops. But no dragon plate legs or visage yet. Right, so I've just completed another trip. 88. Look at that. That's looking so sexy. And this was the loot. 180 blood runes. Uh, loads of alkables and everything. Not too shabby. Still no dragon plate legs. But you know, what can you expect? The drop rate is 1 in 500. Alright, just finishing up another trip at Steel Dragons. And we managed to get ourselves 90, almost 91 magic. And not a bad trip. As you can see, 440 blood runes. Still no dragon plate legs. But what can you expect? Also, I got a prayer level just from burying the bones and almost 80 HP. So look at that shit. The progress is real. So this is the official seasonal dead man mode high score. And look at this. Sylvester rank 6 in prayer. Rank 6, that's insane. And for magic, we're rank 66. So if I was to get barrage today, I'm not sure whether I can. I'm going to try to. I'm grinding. We'll be like the 50th to 60th person to barrage. Look at us right there. Looking nice. Right, so this is the plan we've got going right now. I am currently stun alking because it is some of the best mage XP in the game. I'm pretty sure it's on par with bursting. It's about 800k XP per hour. If... You are no XP wasting. There's 91 magic. I'm probably going to be getting around 700k XP per hour because there's no way I can keep this up for a full fucking hour without wasting any XP. But yeah, I'm doing this just as a change and plus, you know, because it's the best XP. As we all know, the biggest problem with Deadman Mode is the durability of the game. It's not an increasing player base. It is always decreasing. People are quitting all the time. There's not really an incentive to keep going for some people. And a big factor of that is clan man mode. You know, for solo peekers or people who aren't in a team, it's pretty much impossible. Like, if you're peeking on your own and you get hit by someone and then all the clan members tell you in, there is no escape because of the PJ timer. You can freeze them and stand under and telly, but by that time, someone else is already on you, so then you have to tank them out, and a lot of people die because of this. So here are a few massive things I've heard from the community and other streamers I thought I'd share with you guys. And first off, the PJ timer should be increased. I've heard this from quite a lot of streamers. Everyone else agrees. The PJ timer should definitely be increased to 20 seconds, 30 seconds, because... If you, like I said, if you fight in a clan, there is no escape. If you freeze them, stand under, you still can't escape because the 10 second PJ timer, someone else can just PJ you off, you know what I mean? So you can't tell you. So the 30 second PJ timer will allow you to try and escape clans. It still won't be easy. It still won't be as simple as freezing and standing under. It's not like it's going to be piss easy and this PJ timer is going to ruin absolutely everything because there's still myth seeds and lots of tactics people will use and it's going to take a lot of skill to still escape these clans. And this isn't going to affect boxing other players because once someone's hitting another player, you can't PJ them off anyway. So with that, I think they need to like decrease the amount of zeros they may hit. Like maybe 15 zeros in a row, you can PJ them off. I'm really not sure about the boxing issue, but I definitely think a PJ timer would help the game for solo PKs, for everyone else to escape these clans. And it's going to counteract clan man mode a lot. And not only that, when you kill someone, you know, someone can get on you 10 seconds after. It doesn't give you enough time to loot the stuff. Secondly, gates and doors. Because of the new PID update, if someone has PID over you and there's 10 people closing a door on you, e.g. at Warriors Guild, you can't get through it. And that is you dead because of clan man mode because everyone else is stalling the doors. There really needs to be something done about that. I actually died the other day because of that barbarian assault. There needs to be something done about doors, like literally all the PID update on doors because that is just ridiculous like how can one person get through a door versus 10 players that's there just needs to be something done about that items lost on death is fine i think you should lose absolutely everything and 10 items in your bank 
that's fine with me. However, XP loss just sets everyone back because when you die, it's just so demotivating to rebuild all your stats and everything. So I think I heard this from Adam. He said like, if you're unschooled, you shouldn't lose any XP. Maybe that's a bit too easy, but you know, you still lose all your items and everything. So yeah, maybe decrease the XP loss on death. That'll definitely keep people still playing. And maybe when you die, you should get 10 times the XP back to where you were before the death. I do this every single start to Deadman mode, but personally, I think Lava Dragon should be took out the game completely. It's way too easy of a start. You get 70 magic. You've already got a few hundred K bank in the first couple hours. It is ridiculous. And also to the alts, even myself, you can make an alt with a six hour immunity and just make about one mil cash. It just kind of ruins the economy a little bit because obviously no one can kill you. There's loads and loads and loads of money coming into the game because a lot of the drops at Alcabo. So I think Lava should just be wiped out of the game. The six hour immunity should still be there, but every day it should like go up like one hour. The more it goes into the game, the immunity should be increased so it still brings new players into the game. And maybe XP rates for combat stats uh, should be a lot higher for like late players joining the game. And the one I love the most, the Barrows cap. Barrows should be capped two weeks into the game. The disabled Zulra, that is fucking amazing. I'm so happy about that. But Barrows should be out the game for two weeks. And then obviously Barrows pieces will start coming into the game two and a half weeks from the start because obviously everyone's rushing Barrows. You know, everyone wants these Barrows items. It's just, it's just going to be so much fun when everyone's running around in Mystics and everything because if you're a solo Pico in Mystics and then you get attacked by some like max guy in the bank in Barrows, it's like, how the fuck do you even fight back? So I think that would be amazing. In terms of swapping and muling, it's a tough one. I really don't know a solution. Obviously, they've took out trading, but people will always find methods to do so. So, yeah, guys, give me your thoughts in the comment section below what you thought of my opinions and uh, what you think should come to Deadman mode. Right, there we go. 93 magic. One more level to go. We also hit 15 million total XP. So, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We finally done it. Oh, my God. I have been grinding all fucking day just training magic for this moment 94 magic that just looks so beautiful and now it is time to work on our house because we need the house portals because it's going to be very very handy for navigating around runescape whilst on ancient magic so let's go do that oh my god what a fucking grind and shout out to this guy I can't even spell boom okay where the hell am i going one of the materials for my house is limestone so I need to go mine them myself because they're not buying on the G. So quick, 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 quick. Just give me the fucking limestone. Let's get the fuck out of this place. Oh my God, I'm not liking this. Oh, so scary, man. So fucking scary. Another thing I need is teak planks to make all the portals and everything. And of course they don't buy on the G either. I remember I had to do this last season. And of course I'm not doing it on my main account. Am I fuck? Because there's clans camping castle walls. I wouldn't be surprised if I died right now. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm alive. Fantastic. So yeah, I got 35 walk in on this account. So yeah, let's go cut some teak logs. Right, so we managed to get a full inventory safely. Now let's go and make them into planks. Right, there we have it. There is 50 construction. That is beautiful. Oh, let's get making this house. Right, so the house is completed. So we'll access our house. Altar is here. We've also got a mounted glory, which is beautiful. We've got a fire door teleport. We've got a carol teleport, which goes to Canifis. Camelot, Lumbridge, and Varrock, so. So I'll be protecting strength and HP, but our ranged isn't strong enough. 78 ranged, there's not really much we can do that because we're going to be tri-bridding. So, to get those levels fast, I invested in some chin chompers. Apatol, we go. Are we going to survive? Are we going to get these range levels? Find out next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace!